She walked out wearing a pink t-shirt and jeans, but Casey Anthony's legal troubles aren't over just yet. She's already facing a wave of civil cases being brought against her. Joining us this morning is Larry Dubin, a law professor at the University of Detroit Mercy. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. All right, so the big question for everyone really is, really, where does she go for next? Well, she immediately leaves Florida um, to places unknown as of right now. Um, I, I think it must be a very jeering experience uh, to leave prison and to have people yelling and screaming at mm -hmm. you in a negative way. So clearly, uh, I think the immediate concern for her is her safety and to get to a safe place where uh, she will not be bothered by people who are very hostile to her as a result of the verdict that, uh, that came in 12 days ago. I read that she walked out of jail with $537 in hand and that's all she's got. How does she support herself from now on? Well, she's going to need some financial support. She certainly is not uh, employable. We're not going to be seeing her you know, showing up uh, working at a Starbucks or any place like that. Um, and I think that right now her lawyers uh, are attempting to get the financial benefit that they can in the short run for her, uh, perhaps uh, you know a, a book deal or uh, some television tell-all uh, show that could capitalize on the public's interest in her. This is a short-run interest that they really have to make the best of while she uh, has captured the interest of, uh, of people who followed the trial. And when you think of a case like this, a lot of people think of O.J. and how that turned out and all of the outrage surrounding the verdict in that case by many people. Do you think this is going to play out in some of the same way where she'll continue to stay in the headlines for a while and then as time goes on, it'll fade? Yeah, I think so. And if we remember uh, back with O.J. when he was found not guilty, uh, there was outrage, there were threats. Uh, the same questions, where will he go, um, will, you know, where will he, he end up, is his life in danger. Uh, people said uh, they shouldn't buy anything, uh, give him anything that capitalizes financially on, on what people believed he did even though he was found not guilty. And I think the same thing is true here. Uh, there will be enough people interested uh, in the short run to create a, uh, um, a, a financial um, value to her story. Um, but I think it will be short-lived and I think that uh, after a while she'll just be someone who will be a distant memory for uh, this uh, prolonged story that uh, that we have been uh, uh, very interested in. So let's switch to the legal side of this. You're a law professor. Yeah. Obviously she's faced with some of these civil lawsuits. Tell us about some of them and what do you think will become of these? You know what's interesting about that is that these lawsuits are being brought against someone as we said who is unemployed, has $500. Usually lawyers are not interested in bringing cases against someone who doesn't have any assets. So I think that also speaks to the sense of expectation that she will come into some funds down the road. But with respect to the potential um, liability, there's one group in Texas that's suing her for about $100,000 for the expenses that were incurred in the search for her daughter uh, because of the false statements that she had made. Uh, I think there's a question as to liability there because she was not one of the initial parties that entered into any agreement with them. They'd have to bring her in on some implied uh, contract in order to claim that she has any responsibility. Uh, and then there is uh, uh, the uh, woman who, uh, whose name she used as the fictitious babysitter, babysitter yeah. exactly, who's suing for libel. Again, what kind of damages were sustained in that case I think is very questionable. Um, but I think now is the time where, with this expectation of funds, people want to get on the bandwagon and use the legal system to try to uh, perhaps capture some of the uh, anticipated money. Larry Dubin, thank you so much. We'll see what happens. Yes, thank you. Michael, over to you. All right.